Hello everyone and welcome to another Teen Tuesday Cosplay Edition. So today we're going to talk about cosplaying on a budget slash no sewing required cosplay. So the first and most important step of any project is planning. So when you start planning your cosplay, the first thing you're going to want to do is gather a lot of reference pictures. And reference pictures are just basically pictures of the character that you want to cosplay um, from as many angles as possible. The front, the back, the side, close up on the face, full body, if you can get detailed shots of specific props, basically anything you can get that's going to help you plan out your cosplay and see every little detail of what this character looks like so that you can figure out how you're going to make all the different parts of their outfit. After you gather all your reference pictures, you're also going to want to start researching what will making this cosplay entail. You know, what pieces of clothing are you going to have to get? Are you going to have to change them in any way? Or can you buy a piece of clothing that looks pretty much exactly like what that character wears? Um, and also props. How are you going to go about making that? What materials are you going to need? Um, and if you can, you want to try to look and see if there's different methods to do the same thing that you want to do. Uh, because... The first method that you find might not always be the most cost-effective method in terms of materials. So you may find one tutorial that says to do it with this really fancy material and do it this certain way. Um, but then you find an, might find another tutorial that says that you can do it with EVA foam and hot glue and paint. And that's probably going to be the cheapest option. Um, you also want to look and see if uh, there is a pre-made, like fully already assembled cosplay out there for you to buy, um, most likely online, uh, and see how much that costs. It, If you look at the price of that and you look at the price of all the materials that it's going to take to make the cosplay by hand, sometimes that math just turns out in the favor of buying the cosplay and there's nothing wrong with that. So once you've done all your planning and you have a plan of attack for putting your cosplay together, um, you're gonna want to look for the clothes that you'll need for the cosplay. So shopping for clothes for cosplay, first shop in your closet. You may already have some great pieces that could turn into great cosplays down the road. Um, there are a lot of characters who wear everyday outfits just like you and I do. Jeans, t-shirts, jackets, all normal pieces of clothing that you might already own. Um, and like I talked about last Tuesday, we call this closet cosplaying because you make the cosplay out of the things in your closet. And some examples of some really simple character designs that can be easy closet cosplays is Misty from Pokemon. She just has that yellow tank top and the shorts and red suspenders would be the only kind of like specialty thing that you might not already have in your closet. Um, the Doctor from Doctor Who. Uh, there are several different iterations of the Doctor that all have pretty simple outfits. Uh, a leather jacket for the Ninth Doctor a suit for the 10th Doctor, dress shirt and bow tie for the 11th Doctor, a Winfrey from Full Metal Alchemist. She's got that kind of cropped uh, no sleeve top and some like work pants, bandana around her head, and many, many superheroes have their alter egos, their everyday personas that um, have everyday outfits just like you and me. Also here I want to talk about Disney bounding and casual cosplay. So um, casual cosplay has been a term that's been around I think a little bit longer than Disney bounding and it's basically doing a casual version of this character. So um, a good example would be like Commander Shepard from uh, Mass Effect. Instead of doing the big armor build, maybe you wear a dress like um, some of the party scenes that were in the game or you buy or make one of the sweatshirts that they wear and some she wears in the off time with the stripe. 
Uh, so that would be a casual cosplay uh, as opposed to a full armor build cosplay. Um, and then a couple years ago, this idea of Disney bounding came around because Disney, all the Disney parks don't allow you to wear costumes if you're not a child. And so people got around this costume rule by making these outfits that are inspired by the character, usually pulling from the color palette of the character and maybe some key elements, like this character wears a dress or wears a skirt, so it's also going to be a dress, um, but makes it look like an everyday outfit that you and I would wear. So those are also totally viable options for doing cosplay without fully committing to a complicated or expensive build. Next, if you looked in your closet and you don't have everything you need, hit the thrift stores and the clearance rack. Um, so Savers, Goodwill, and other secondhand store are great places to get everyday pieces for really cheap, um, which is great, especially if you need to distress or destroy those pieces for the cosplay. You don't want to spend a lot of money on them. Um, so some pants that you rip up or a shirt that you'll tea stain and, and do other things to make look distressed, you can get really great, really simple pieces at second hand for really cheap. Uh, and also keep your eye on the, on the clearance racks of any store that sells clothes because uh, you'll never know what you're going to find in there and it might be marked down for super, super cheap. Um, and if you still haven't found what you're looking for, um, now is when I suggest that you turn to shopping online. So when I need something really specific and reasonably priced for cosplay, I usually go to Amazon first. Uh, you can filter Amazon by price uh, after you do research. So you can say that you don't want any pieces over $25 to show up in the search. And uh, you'll find all the pieces that match your search that are fairly um, inexpensive. Um, and I've found tons of stuff. Um, this cosplay is a great example. I think this jumpsuit, um, this like coverall mechanics jumpsuit, I'm pretty sure I got on Amazon and then I got all the patches that go on it um, also on Amazon and I just sewed them onto it and painted all the other um, painted some of the other details onto it and then this shirt I think I got like from Walmart or from the craft store where they have all of the like plain t-shirts and then I just used paint to paint uh, like in a stamper to do different colored flowers all over the whole shirt so something like this where it's like this is really specific um, you might want to search online uh, also, websites like Wish or AliExpress do have things for really cheap, but a lot of the times they're cheap because they're maybe a little bit lesser quality, they're coming from overseas, so you also have to usually wait a couple weeks to receive items from those kind of sites. But if you're willing to, you know, read their reviews and really do your re research and maybe also take a chance on the stuff, um, you could get some really inexpensive stuff. And Amazon and eBay are also great places to get affordable full cosplays as well as cosplay wigs. So once you've got all the clothing you need, um, here are my tips for saving on other types of materials that you might need for doing cosplays. So always check for coupons before you head to the craft store. You can sign up to get emails from Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, all the major um, craft stores in the area so that you never miss out on a sale or a coupon. And um, But you also can just look at their site before you go in the store and double check. And there's usually some type of coupon out, so you want to take advantage of that. And then... In terms of the type of material, EVA foam, which is another word for all the various thicknesses of craft foam. Craft foam usually refers to in the craft store, you see those sheets. They're usually 
an eight and a half by 11, but sometimes you can get big sheets or even rolls of it that's really, really thin. Um, that's usually what we refer to as craft foam, but there are other types of foam that are that same material, um, like floor mats for garages. That's a great way to get thicker EVA foam, um, is all EVA foam. And that's usually super cheap. A uh, job lot will sometimes have sales on the floor mats for garages. So uh, you head over there when they've got a sale on it. You get a bunch way ahead of time. And it's really affordable material to work with. And as well as like hot glue, PVC pipes usually are not terribly expensive to get if you need some type of um, staff or strong cylindrical base for a prop, a, a handle, or something like that. Um, all of the and other really low cost materials can go a really long way. You don't have to shell out to get Warbla or another brand of thermoplastic just to make a cosplay that looks awesome. Uh, see, like this prop right here, this umbrella, uh, was a cheap, you know, plain white parasol that I got on Amazon and then I painted the design on it by hand with just acrylic paint and so it was something that was pretty cheap to put together and I think it looks awesome. And so if you want to sew your own cosplay, uh, I would also recommend that you look at the clearance rack in fabric and craft stores of clearance fabric. Because uh, if you keep an eye on that, that can be a great way to grab fabrics that are what you would need for a cosplay at a pretty affordable price. And then uh, my other piece of advice for saving on materials is to measure twice, cut once. So if you make sure that you know exactly how much material you need for a project, you can avoid buying too much of a material or not buying enough and having to go back and buy it, buy more of that material, possibly when it's not at the sale price that it was when you originally got it. And um, my final note about cosplaying on a budget is the one thing that I think is worth splurging on, and that is cosplay wigs. I think a high quality wig can really, um, really make your outfit look really great and like you put a lot of time and effort into your cosplay with really, depending on how much styling required for that particular cosplay, really low effort on your part. Um, just buying a really nice wig is the um, really only amount of effort that you had to put into it. Um, and there are ways, there are sites, and there are ways to get more affordable wigs that are still nice quality. But we'll go into wigs in more depth next week with my Wig Basics video for next Teen Tuesday. But until then, stay healthy, everyone.